Hello, everybody, and welcome to Northwest Association for Blind Athletes Full Body Workout Circuit. Today, we have a Tabata and a core circuit for you. Um, just before we get started, my name is Mary, and I am a programs coordinator with Northwest Association for Blind Athletes. Before we get started again, just to read our disclaimer, as a reminder, you should always consult with your doctor before beginning any type of exercise or physical activity. You're responsible for your own health and safety at all times. We encourage you to self-monitor throughout the workout, take breaks when needed, hydrate, and modify your activity based on how you and your body are responding to the workout. The mission of Northwest Association for Blind Athletes is to provide life-changing opportunities through sports and physical activity to individuals who are blind and visually impaired. Today, like we said before, we're going to be doing that with a full body circuit. So this workout today will consist of a warm-up, a 15-minute Tabata workout. If you're not familiar with Tabata, it's where you do 20 seconds of work or 20 seconds of an exercise, 10 seconds of rest, and you continue that throughout the circuit. We'll do an, an ab circuit, and then we will finish with our cooldown. With our with each of our exercise components we'll be doing today, we'll explain the exercise first. We'll go through each exercise, explain it thoroughly, and then we'll do the workout. As we are doing the workout, we will be explaining the workout again. So you'll get many definitions and explanations of the workout. So if you miss a step or if you get lost, you can just probably expect to rehear it. So we'll get started with a warm up with our warm up today. We're going to start with low impact burpees. So if you know what a burpee is, you usually jump up straight in the air, drop down on the ground, do a push up and stand up. But we're going to take that down a notch. We're just going to lift our fingertips up, pointed toward the ceiling, go up on our toes, raising our heels, lower your heels to the ground, lower your arms, bend forward, touch the ground, make contact with your hands, walk your hands forward, go to your high plank position, and then walk your hands back toward your feet, and then stand up. So we'll repeat that about three or four times. Again, raise your hands up to the ceiling, heels off the ground, heels come back down to the ground, arms to your side, bend forward, make contact with the ground with your hands, walk your hands forward, walk your hands back. When you walk your hands forward, walk to that high plank, walk back to your feet with your hands, and then repeat. Make sure you breathe throughout this exercise and all the exercises that we do today. All right, I'm gonna do one more of these. Fingertips up to the ceiling, up on my toes, reaching down to the ground, walking my hands out to a high plank, walking my hands back to my feet and standing up. Our next exercise is going to be side lunges. So we are going to stand with our feet side by side and we're gonna first lunge to the right. So I'm gonna take a big step out to the right with my right foot. I'm going to straighten my left leg, bend my right leg by sinking my hips backward into a lunge, keeping my chest up and my nose pointing toward the wall in front of me, straightening both legs, feet together, repeat on the left side. Step out wide with your left foot, keeping your right leg straight, bend your left knee, sink your hips back, nose pointed toward the wall in front of you, chest up, straighten your legs, and back to center. So we're just gonna repeat that. When you step out, really focus on sinking your hips backward. It's going to help you not hunch forward because you don't want your shoulders to roll forward. You wanna keep your back nice and straight. And you can do that by imagining that you're sinking your hips backward. And it's not so much of a forward motion with your upper body. Your hands can also just be at your sides or I like to keep my hands loosely in front of me, arms bent at about a 90 degree angle. All right, I'm gonna do one more on my left side and then we're going to switch. Let's do some arm circles. So just stick your arms out to your sides, fingertips pointing the walls beside you and just moving at our shoulders, making big circles. You can go forward, backward, big circles, small circles. My arms have a slight bend in them. They don't have to be completely straight, but just get those arms ready to work out and move around today. All right, our next exercise and warm up is going to be knee to chest with a core twist. So you're going to bring balance on, I'm gonna balance on my right leg, bring my left leg up, twist to my left. Bring my torso back to center, left leg down. Balancing on my left leg now, bring your right leg up, twist to the right, 
twist your body back to center and lower your right leg. You're twisting and bringing your leg up at the same time. So whatever leg you bring up, that's what side you twist to. Bring my left leg up, twist to the left, straight position, right leg up, twist to the right, back to my center. So twist, center, twist, center. All right. We'll get a few more of these in. I'll do one more on my right and then one more on my left. Then we're gonna go into some heel raises or some calf raises. So this is basically what the name is in a heel raise. You're just lifting your heels straight up off the ground, lowering down to the ground. <laughs> Lift up and lower, up and lower. You can keep your hands on the sides of your hips, hands them out in front of you with your arms bent slightly, whatever is comfortable for you. If you need something beside you for this exercise, you can have something beside you. If you'd like to hold onto a chair, or if you'd like to just widen your stance so your feet are about shoulder width apart, go up on your toes and lower back down. Just gives you a little more support. All right, we have two more exercises left in our warm up. We're gonna do a side bend. So your feet can be in whatever position. If you want them shoulder width apart, that's great. That's where mine will be. I'm going to put my left hand on my left hip, right hand above my head, lean to the left. I'm gonna feel that stretch in my right side. Stand up, right hip, right hand to right hip, left hand above my head, lean to the right. Feeling a nice stretch in my left side and back to my center position. So we're just bringing our hand above our head and then leaning to the opposite side. Kind of like a reverse teacup, if you will. All right, get one more on each side. I just did my left. Now I'll do my right side. Great. We have our last exercise. It's our forward bend or forward fold stretch. This is really to stretch out our hamstrings. So with this exercise, my feet are going to be about shorter width apart. I'm going to lower my torso to the ground, keeping my legs straight, reaching my arms in front of me until my fingertips touch the ground, and then stand right back up. We're going to repeat. Lower your upper body to the ground by bending at your waist. Hands come forward and fingertips touch the ground. The reason why we're not holding that position is because we're doing a dynamic warm up. Our dynamic warm up is when your muscles are lengthening and shortening throughout the motion. And you do that because we're trying to get our bodies ready to move around. If you're into the fitness research, a lot of people will say, will argue and say you should use more of a static stretch whenever you warm up. It's whatever works best for your body. If you wanna do some more dynamic or some more static or stretches where you just hold that position and then go into another stretch, you are more than welcome to do that. So we're gonna get started in our Tabata workout today. I'm gonna to grab a quick sip of water. Okay, so for our Tabata workout, again, it's going to be 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest repeated for 15 minutes total. We're going to do five exercises that we'll go through right now. Our first exercise is a squat and lateral leg lift. So if you're familiar with doing a squat, you'll start with your feet shoulder width or a little wider than shoulder width apart. Sink your hips backwards and lower your hips to the ground. So we're just sinking back, nose is up, chest facing the wall in front of us. And then we're going to stand up, that's our squat. We're going to lift our right leg and then lower it back down to the ground. The whole time my arms are bent at about a 90 degree angle, hands are comfortably just resting in front of me. I'm gonna go back down into another squat, stand up, lift my left leg back down to the ground and then put my left leg back down to the ground. Again, go into a squat, stand up, lift your right leg, lower, go down into a squat, stand up, lift your left leg, and lower it back to that same position. With this exercise, when you squat, you wanna make sure your back is straight. You don't wanna hunch your shoulders over and you wanna make sure that your knees do not surpass your toes. Uh, whenever you're lifting your leg and then putting it back on the ground, it always just goes right back to that same position that it was in or close to that position. Moving on, we're going to get on the ground for some forearm plank reach outs. So you can either do this from a forearm plank, you can do yeah, we do these ones from a forearm plank, getting confused with another exercise, but we're gonna head to the ground. My 
stomach is facing the ground, laying on my stomach, I'm going to go into a forearm plank. So my forearms are flat on the ground. My shoulders will be stacked over my elbows, which will also be on the ground. Feet can be together or a little farther apart, whatever is better for your balance and stability. You're going to lift yourself up off the ground and move one arm at a time. So I'm going to move my right hand forward, tap the ground, bring my right arm back to the ground. Move my left arm forward, left fingertips tap the ground, left forearm comes back to the ground. So we're just going to repeat that for 20 seconds. So again, you're going to be holding yourself up in that forearm plank. Reach out with one hand, just straight out in front of you. When you're after your fingertips, tap the ground in front of you, bring your hand back to the position right underneath you. You want to keep your face pointing down or in a neutral position the whole time. You don't want to strain your neck by pointing your nose to the wall in front of you. It can either be, your nose can either be pointing to the ground or slightly ahead of you where your fingers are tapping. If you would prefer to do that from a modified forearm plank position, you can. So my knees are on the ground, my forearms are on the ground, and I'm just going to tap. You wanna make sure you limit the amount that your body sways from side to side. So to do that, you can widen the width of your knees or your feet as well. We're gonna get back up on our feet for our next exercise. Our next exercise is going to be a deadlift. So you're going to start with your feet shoulder width apart, a little wider than shoulder width apart. Again, just like we did with our forward bend, we are going to bring our upper body and angle it toward the ground. So I'm going to keep my hands on my hips. I'm going to bend at my hips, bringing my chest parallel to the ground. I'm feeling a nice tension in my hamstrings or the backs of my upper legs. And then I'm going to slowly stand up. Now this exercise, when you do this exercise, whenever you are moving your torso parallel to the ground, really squeeze your hamstrings that whole time and then release as you stand up. For a little added resistance, you can hold a heavy book in front of you. So if you would have that, I'm going to use a remote. Nothing close to a heavy book or anything or just a heavy object. You can hold that right in front of your stomach area. You're just going to, again, let your arms naturally move toward the ground and then stand up. So it's very similar to our forward bend or forward fold that we did in the beginning in our warm up. You are just going a little slower and you are squeezing your hamstrings the entire time you go down. And then when you stand up, you are releasing them. That's our deadlift. Our fourth exercise is our Superman with arm extensions. So we're gonna get back down on the ground again, back to our stomachs. We are going to get in our Superman position. So if you're not familiar, you are going to keep your arms in what we call a cactus position or a goal ball position. So my arms are bent at a 90 degree angle at my elbows and my, palm, my fingertips are facing the wall that is directly in front of me. They're pointing that direction. I'm going to lift my legs up, lift my arms straight up off the ground, extend my arms forward, bring them back to my cactus or goal ball position or goal post position, and then lower back down to the ground. You really want to make sure you keep your face and your head and neck in a neutral alignment, which just means you just want to keep everything. You want to keep your spine in one line. So if you think from the tip of your head to your tailbone, you want to keep your whole spine going straight like that. So again, we lift up our legs, lift up our arms as much as you can off the ground, extend your arms, bring them back to that cactus or goalpost position and lower back down to the ground. Those are our Superman arm extenders. And then finally, we will finish with our lateral bear crawl to a straight jump. So if you've done exercises with us back when we first started in virtual, this is one of our OG exercises that we used to do. So with this exercise, we're gonna start in a bear crawl position. So that means you're going to be in, we're gonna start in a tabletop position on the ground. So I'm gonna 
go from a side view here, give you all a side view. So in a tabletop position, our hands are flat on the ground, shoulders are stacked right above our wrists, our hips are directly above our knees. There we go. My back is going to stay flat, like there's a tray or there are some glasses on it. If I fall over, I'll fall off and break. We don't want to break our glasses today. So you want to keep your back nice and flat, dig your toes into the ground, and then whenever you're ready, lift your knees up off the ground. So just your shins are parallel to the ground. We're going to do a bear crawl. So we're going to move to the right first. I'm going to move my right hand and right foot to the right. Move my left hand, left foot to the right. I'm going to repeat that. So right hand, right foot, move to the right. Left hand, left foot, move to the right. Whenever I say move, I'm physically picking them up and moving them to that side. So we're in our bear crawl position. After we take two steps to the right, I'm going to jump my feet toward my hands. I'm going to stand up and jump up. And then we're going to go back down to the ground and go to the left. Hands go back on the ground. I'm going to kick my feet back. So now I'm in that bear crawl position again. Shoulders are stacked above wrists. Hips are stacked above knees. Toes are pointed into the ground. Step to the left with left hand, left foot. Step to the left, right hand, left, right hand, right foot. Step to the left, left hand, left foot. Step to the left again, right hand, right foot. Jump your feet to your hands. Jump straight up in the air, and then we'll go back down and repeat it on the right side. Whenever we are in that, so we're in our bear crawl position, we do our bear crawl, jump your feet closer to your hands. If you can, jump straight up into the air, or if you'd like, you can just stand up, do a jump, go back down into bear crawl and repeat. If you don't want to get on the ground and do the bear crawl position that way, you can definitely do this in a squat position. So you'll just squat down, step to the right, bring your left foot over, step to the right again, bring your left foot over, jump straight up, and then go back down into that squat. Jump to the left, bring the other, or step to the left, bring the other foot over, step to the left, bring your right foot over, jump straight up, and then continue and repeat. If you don't want to do the squat, you can just sidestep. So Step to the right, step to the right. After I step to the right, my left foot follows. Jump straight up in the air, step to the left, match my feet, step to the left, match my feet together, and jump straight up into the air. That is our Tabata workout for today. I'm going to grab some water real quick, and then we'll get started. If you've never heard our Tabata timer before, we are going to have about a three second countdown from when it's time to go. It'll just do, it always beeps. It doesn't ever say numbers. Then we'll just do beep, 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 exercise. And then three seconds before our rest is over, it'll do another three beeps. And then, or before our exercise is over, it'll do three beeps and then rest. Before we move into an exercise or our rest period, you'll hear three beeps and then we'll go into that period. It'll say either exercise or it'll say rest. So if you wanna pause this, grab another drink, catch your breath, you can. If not, get ready to go. We're gonna start this and then we'll get started in three seconds. Oops. Get ready, exercise. All right, we are doing a squat and lateral leg lift. So we are, our feet are shoulder width apart, squatting down, lifting a leg, straight up to the side and lowering it back down. Squat and lift, squat and lift. Rest. Right. Take a break here. We're gonna go into our forearm plank reach out. So if you want, go ahead, drop down to the ground. Exercise. All right, we are on our forearms. Shoulders are stacked above our elbows. Bring your right hand out, tap the ground and bring it back in front of you. Repeat on the left side, just lifting your arm, tapping it in front of you. Try to minimize that rocking motion. Rest. And take a break. All right, our deadlift is next. So 
We'll be up on our feet. Exercise. All right. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Hands can either be on their hips or if you're holding something heavy in front of you, lower your chest to the ground so your chest is parallel to the ground and stand up. We're doing these nice and slow so we can get a nice stretch and tension in our hamstrings. Rest. All right. We're going to take a break. Go into our Superman with arm extension. Exercise. All right, we are again belly down on the ground. Arms are in that cactus goalpost position, bends at 90, a 90 degree angle. Lift your legs, lift your arms. Arms go forward and back to that goalpost position and lower. Rest. All right, take a break. Up to our lateral bear crawl to straight jump. Exercise. All right, in our bear position, that kind of elevated tabletop, step to the right twice, jump your feet to your hands, stand up and jump up. Back down to your hands and feet, step to the left, step to the left, jump your feet to your hands, jump up in the air. Rest. All right, great work. We are one circuit or one set in. Great job. Exercise. All right, we're up on our feet. We're going to squat and lateral leg lift. So squat down, sink your hips back, lift that leg up and lower. Squat down, keep your back straight, leg lift and lower. Squat nose toward the wall in front of you, leg lift and lower. Rest. And take a break. Our forearm reach out, forearm plank reach out is next. Let's go ahead and make your way to the ground. Exercise. And we are exercising. With this exercise as well, you really want to make sure that you are drawing your belly button toward your spine and you don't have any arches in your back. Keep breathing, keep going. Rest. And rest. Great work. We're going to go up to our deadlift, so hop on your feet. Exercise. All right, hands are on your hips or right in front of you holding your object. Feet are shoulder width apart. Drop your chest toward the ground and stand up. Keep your back nice and straight. You don't want to arch your back, curve your spine or anything. Rest. Okay, take a break. Back down to the ground for our Superman arm extension. Exercise. All right, arms are in that cactus goal pose, pose, bent at 90 degrees. Lift your legs and arms up off the ground. Extend your arms forward, bend them back to our goal post and lower. Lift, extend, retract, and lower. Rest. Take a break. We're gonna go to our lateral bear crawl next, so don't go too far from the ground if you're doing the bear crawls. Exercise. If you'd prefer to just do the bear crawls and not jump, that's okay. Whatever feels best for your body. Remember to keep your shins as parallel to the ground as you can for this exercise. Rest. All right, second set down. Great job. Two out of six complete. Okay. Exercise. Squat and lateral leg lift. Here we go. We are squatting, sinking our hips back, lifting a leg, and lowering. Squat, leg lift, lower. Always repeat or always switch whatever leg you are lowering. Rest. And take a break. Great job. Down to the ground for forearm plank reach out. Doing a lot of up and downs today. Exercise. All right, we are back up on our forearms. There's a straight line from our shoulders to our heels. We're just tapping the ground in front of us. If you want to just hold a forearm plank, you can definitely do that too. Almost done. Rest and take a break. We're going up to our deadlift. So hop back up on your feet. 
exercise. All right. Bending forward at your hips, keeping your legs straight. Squeeze your hamstrings and stand upright. Remember, don't curve your, body, your spine or your back. Keep it nice and straight. Rest and take a break. We're gonna go to our Superman with arm extensions. So make your way down to the ground. Exercise. All right. Start with your legs out behind you, arms in our cactus or goalpost position. Raise your arms and legs, extend, retract your arms, and lower. Raise your arms and legs, extend your arms, retract your arms, and lower. Get one more in, rest, and lower. Great job. Where are we at? Lateral bear crawl time. Here we go. Exercise. All right. Step to the right from that bear crawl position. Jump your feet toward your hands and jump straight up in the air. Take your time with this. Make sure you're getting your form down before you worry about the number of times you can do this exercise. Rest. All right, great work. That's our third circuit, third set of our circuit. Exercise. Okay, squat and lateral leg lift. Here we go. Remember, if you need to, grab water throughout this exercise or whatever drink you prefer to have while you're working out. Squatting and lifting one leg at a time, lowering it back to the ground. Rest. And take a break. We're gonna do our forearm plank, reach out next. We're on the ground. Exercise. All right, we're in our forearm plank. My feet are about shoulder width apart. Tap in front of you. Bring that hand back and do the other arm. Keep it up. Rest. And take a break. Great work. We're to our deadlift again. Back up on our feet. Exercise. And we are going to Lean forward and stand up, bending at our hips the whole time, squeezing that hamstring. Rest. And take a break, back down to the ground. We're gonna do our Superman with arm extensions once again. Exercise. All right, arms are in your cactus position. Lift your arms and legs up off the ground. Extend your arms forward. Extend your, or retract your arms and lower to the ground. The height that you lift off the ground is totally up to you. Make sure you don't strain your back at all while you do this also. Rest. All right. Don't go too far from the ground. We have our lateral bear crawls next. Everybody's favorite. Woo! Exercise. All right, step to the right twice. Jump your feet towards your hands and stand up. To the left, jump toward your hands, stand up. Keep going. Try to get one more in if you can. Rest. All right, great work. That concludes our fourth set. We are going to get into our fifth set right now. Exercise our squat and lateral leg lift. So we're going to squat, lift one leg to the side, and lower. Squat, lift a leg to the side, and lower. Again, how high you lift your leg is dependent on what feels comfortable for you. Rest. All right, back down to the ground. We're going to be doing a forearm plank. Reach out. Exercise. All right. We are in our forearm plank. Remember to keep your shoulders stacked above your elbows. Really squeeze that core if you need to. Tap the ground in front of you with one hand, bring it back, and repeat on the opposite side. Rest. All right. Take a break. Back to our deadlift. 
exercise. All right, feet are shoulder width apart. Lower your chest toward the ground and stand up. Make sure you're going until you can feel a good stretch in your hamstrings and you're squeezing that muscle all the way down and releasing as you stand. Rest. All right, Superman with an arm extension is next. We are almost done with our fifth set. Ooh. Exercise. All right. Chest is flat on the ground. Arms and hands are flat on the ground as well. Lift up your arms and legs. Extend your arms forward. Retract them back and lower. Lift, extend, retract, and lower. Get one more in. Rest. And take a break. Lateral bear crawls. Here we come. We have no. doing these two more times. Exercise. All right, make sure you have that nice parallel line with between your shins and the ground. Step to the right, step to the right. Jump your feet to your hands and jump straight up in the air. Left, left. Jump your hands to your feet, your feet to your hands, and stand up. Rest. All right, one more time through. Grab some water if you need it. Exercise. Right. Squat and lateral leg lift. We have two more minutes, two and a half more minutes left of our Tabata workout. Really push yourself through these, but don't hurt yourself. Remember to keep your back straight through those squats. Rest and take a break. We're gonna go back down to the ground for our final forearm plank. Reach out. Exercise. All right. Shoulders are stacked above your elbows. My feet are as wide, if not a little wider than shoulder width apart. And we're reaching our hand forward, tapping it to the ground and replacing it where it started. Rest and take a break. We're going into our deadlift. Last deadlift of the day. Exercise. All right. Bend your waist, drop that upper body or torso toward the ground and stand up. Keep going. About five seconds. Get one more in if you can. Rest. All right, Superman with an arm extension is next. We're gonna go to the ground. Exercise. All right. Arms are at that 90 degree cactus or goal post position. Lift your arms and legs off the ground, extend your arms forward, bring them back and lower to the ground. Keep going, almost done. Rest and take a break. Our final exercise is our lateral bear curls. Woo! Got, got this. Exercise. All right. Up on your hands and toes, shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. So two steps to one side. Jump your feet to your hands and jump up in the air. Remember, you can modify this a number of ways. You can do squats to the side or just squat to the side. Rest. All right. And that is our Tabata circuit. I'm gonna turn off our timer. Nice work, everyone. All right. Go ahead, grab a drink. Make sure you're not standing still. You wanna make sure that you are moving around in your area so all your blood isn't just pulling in one position. Our next circuit is going to be our core circuit. I'm gonna grab some water and then we'll get into it. If you need to, feel free to pause the video or you can just keep listening. All right, again, it's always helpful if you can do the workout with me as I'm describing it, but if you just wanna listen the first time and then do it with me as I'm going through it, you're more than welcome to as well. For our core circuit, we have five exercises that we're gonna go through. We'll go through all of them for 30 seconds, and then we'll have a 15 second break, 
and then we'll do another 30 seconds through. Our first exercise and all of our exercises will be on the ground. So our first exercise is a butterfly sit up. So if you've done a sit up and you know the butterfly stretch, you might have an idea of how these are going to be done. You are going to sit with your legs in that butterfly position. So the bottoms of your feet are going to be facing each other in a comfortable position for you. You're going to, I'm gonna scoot up a little. You're going to lean back on the ground, on your mat, wherever you are. Again, with your feet out in that position. If that's a little hard on your groin, then feel free to not have your knees splayed out to either side, but lift them off the ground a little. You're going to extend your arms above your head. And then whenever you're ready, you're just going to do a sit up. So really engage your core, bring yourself up off the ground and have your hands touch your feet and then lower back to the ground in a controlled way, bringing your arms back above your head. So again, do your sit up, bring your arms up over your head, touch your feet and then go back lay back down into your sit up and rest your arms on the ground. Whenever you're going up and down, you want to make sure you're going in a nice and controlled way. You don't want to be really forcing your body to the ground and slamming your body on the ground. Our next exercise is a tabletop leg press. So it's kind of similar to our bear crawl, except on our back. So we're going to have our legs up off the ground so that our shins are parallel to the ceiling. Your feet can either be pointed to the ceiling, they can be pointing to the wall in front of you. You're going to lift your upper back up off the ground so that your lower back is flat against the ground. You're going to put your hands right at your knees, right on your thighs before your knees, and then we're just going to hold this position. If you want to, you can press your hands into your knees and this is our tabletop press. So this is an isometric hold, isometric meaning the same length. So our abs are staying in the same position throughout the workout. It's similar to a dynamic stretch. Our third ab exercise is going to be our plank jacks. So for these, you can either be in a high plank, a low plank. So high plank up with your arms extended, a low plank with your forearms, um, forearm plank with your forearms on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna do this from a forearm plank, but my feet, I'll get into my forearm plank. My feet are straight out behind me. Shoulders are stacked above my elbows. I'm going to jump my feet out to the side and then I'm going to jump them back together. Jump your feet out to the side and jump them back together. You wanna make sure you don't have a big arch in your back Make sure that your back is nice and flat throughout that workout. You are going to be moving your body up and down as you jump out and in, out and in, but you want to try to maintain that straightish line with your body. Our fourth exercise is a single leg jackknife. So we're going to go on our backs again. We are going to have our legs straight out below us. Your legs can be shoulder width apart, hip width apart whatever you prefer. And our arms are going to be stretched out above our heads so that the backs of our hands are flat on the ground. To do our single leg jackknife, it's going to be similar to the V-ups that we have done in the past. You're going to bring, I'm gonna start with my left leg and right arm. I'm going to bring up my left leg and my right arm. My left arm is kind of following, but just staying close to the ground. And I'm going to touch right now, I'm touching the tongue of my shoe, but if you can try to touch your toe, keeping your legs straight and lower back down to the ground. Repeat with the opposite limbs, lift your arm, lift your leg. If you can try to touch, make contact with your hand and foot right above your belly button and then lower back down to the ground. So I'll go through that one more time. On the left side with my left leg, lift your left leg up right hand touches left foot, your left arm comes to your side, and my left hand hovering over the ground, lowering your body and extending it straight out, and repeat with the opposite limbs. So I'm going to lift up my left arm, right leg, 
touch right above my belly button. My right hand is hovering above the ground and then lowering back into that straight laid out position. Our final exercise is called a C curve. So with this exercise, again, it is similar to our tabletop press where we are just going to have a curve in our upper, our upper back. So you're just going to sit with your legs like you would in a sit up position. So my feet are flat on the ground. Knees are bent, pointed toward the ceiling. My bottom is on the ground. And I'm also going to lay my back on the ground. So for our C curve, we are just going to lift our upper body up off the ground. Your hands can rest right on your thighs. And then we're just going to hold this position. After 30 seconds, we can take a break, take a 15 second break, and then we'll run through all of those again. If you need to take breaks throughout the circuit, that's totally fine too. Take breaks as you need to, and whenever it feels great for you. You ready to time us, Jojo? I'm so ready. Jojo oh. hopped in about halfway through our Tabata to help time, so she'll be our core circuit timer for today. All right, so starting with butterfly sit-ups, we're starting in three, two, one, go. All right, feet are together. Bottoms of your feet are together on the ground. Start with your hands above your head, laying flat back on your back. Sit up, touch your hands to your toes, and then sit back. Always keeping your hands in front of you or above your head, moving in a slow and controlled manner. 10 seconds. Five seconds, going to tabletop leg press in three, two, one, switch. All right, so we have our thigh, our shins are parallel to the ceiling, toes, my toes are pointed to the ceiling as well, and we are just lifting our upper back. So this is really engaging our core. If you want, you can press your hands to your thighs. Keep breathing throughout this exercise. We got five seconds left, and we're switching to plank jacks in three, two, one, switch. All right, we're in our forearm plank. So our shoulders are stacked above our elbows, jumping our legs out to the side, jumping them back together. Nice work, we're halfway. Keep breathing. Got five seconds. Switching a single leg jackknife in three, two, one, switch. All right. We're going to lay on our backs again. Lay out straight, arms above your head, legs extended below you. Lift one leg up, touch the other hand to it, and lower. So my right leg is up, left hand touches it, lower back down to the ground. 10 seconds left. Switch to C curve in three, two, one, switch. All right, our feet are flat on the ground. Again, we are just raising our upper backs and holding. Really engage your core here. And breathe. Halfway. If you can be together, hip width apart, whatever is comfortable for you. And we're resting in three, two, one, rest. All right, go ahead and lay back, stretch out your abs a little. We're gonna get right back into it with butterfly sit-ups. All right, we got five seconds left. Butterfly sit-ups in three, two, one, go. All right, legs are in that butterfly position. Feet are, bottoms of your feet are pushed together. Arms are extended above your head. Sit up, touch your toes, and lower back to the ground. Nice work. Keep going. We got about five seconds left. We're going to tabletop leg press in three, two, one, switch. All right, legs in a tabletop, so your, your shins are parallel to the ceiling. Push your hands against your thighs right before your knees and lift up your shoulders. 
starting to feel this a second time through. If you want, you can roll your ankles. 10 seconds. Really engage that core. Five seconds left. We're going to plank jacks in three, two, one, switch. All right, go into your forearm plank position. Shoulders stacked above your elbows, legs straight out behind you. Jump your feet out and together. You can go at your own pace, but if you can, try to speed it up throughout our time doing this exercise. Keep breathing. 10 seconds, awesome work everyone. We're going to single leg jackknife in three, two, one, switch. All right, we're gonna lay on our backs. Legs straight out, arms above your head. Lift your left leg to your right hand and lower. Right leg to left hand and lower. Awesome job, 10 seconds left. Keep it up. Take a break if you need to. We're almost done. Switch to C curve in three, two, one. Switch, this is our last exercise of the ab circuit. Keep it up. All right, feet are flat on the ground. Knees are bent, pointed toward the ceiling. Hands are on our thighs. Lift up your upper back and hold. Get a nice tension in your upper abs here. Keep nice breathing. work, 10 seconds. Final push, here we go. And we're done in three, two, one, time. Woo. Great job, everybody. Woohoo! Go ahead, grab your water. Awesome grab work. Some. A couple of crushers. Nice mm -hmm. job, guys. All right, if you still need a little bit of a break, you can definitely take one, pause the video, or just jump in whenever you're ready. We're going to do our cool down stretches for today. Our first stretch is going to be our Cobra stretch. We just did a lot of intense ab workouts. So we're going to go into our Cobra. So I'm laying on my side, hands are flat on the ground at chest level. My legs are also just straight back behind me. I'm going to push my chest up off the ground. Take some nice deep breaths here. If you want, you can bring your nose to the ceiling. Or if you want to get a little fancy with it and try out the paranoid cobra, you can. So you're just going to pull your nose over your shoulder, back to your toe, or back to your heel, and then face forward. Go on the opposite side. Point your nose to your heel and then face forward again. If you want to do that a few more times, you can. We're going to push up into a downward facing dog so we can get a nice stretch in our calves. So push your body up, bring your bottom to the ceiling. Hands are flat on the ground. Try to bring your heels to the ground if you can. If you want to, you can also walk your heels out, so, or walk your feet out, which just means bringing one heel to the ground and the other heel, or the other knee to the ground. So it's kind of like you're walking upstairs where you're, or just walking in general, where you're lifting your heel up off the ground. Keep breathing through that exercise. Feet can be about hip width apart for this or whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, our next exercise is a quad pull. So we're going to lay on our side. You can pick whichever side I'm going to lay on my left side first. My left arm is going to go out straight. I'm going to rest my head on my forearm. I'm going to balance on my left leg, bring my right leg back my right foot toward my right glute, and we're gonna hold. This is just going to stretch our quads here. If you need a little more stability, you can bend your left arm back to kind of cradle your head or just to create a little more surface area for your body to be on the ground. 
and you can release your leg and we're going to switch sides. So I'm going to lay completely on my right side here. Right arm is outstretching to the ground. I'm going to rest my head on my right arm. I'm laying on my right side. Left foot is going to come back to my left glute and I'm just going to hold. Again, you can bend your right arm or whatever arm is on the ground. You can bend it back to cradle your head if you'd like. All right, next we're going to go into our seated forward fold. So you can go ahead and straighten your legs, come up to an upright position. So I'm sitting down on the ground. My back is nice and straight. My legs are stretched out in front of me. If you can straighten your legs to the ground, that's great. If you can't, you can have a slight bend in them. We are going to lean forward, try to touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, feel free to grab your ankles or touch your ankles or your shins. Whatever feels nice for you. Feels good after doing our deadlifts where we really worked our hamstrings there too. And then we're going to sit up. Try to keep your back nice and straight throughout that exercise again. So you don't hurt your back. Then we're gonna go into a tricep stretch. So you can sit on the ground, sit wherever you'd like. Um, you can have your legs in whatever position is comfortable for you. I'm going to crisscross my legs. I'm going to bring my right arm up above my head and then drop my right hand to my back by bending my elbow. Left hand, right elbow, and pull back. So again, I'm going to bring my right arm straight up in the air, fingertips pointing toward the ceiling. Then I'm going to bend my right elbow so that my right hand, my right palm is touching my right shoulder. Left hand is coming to my right elbow and I am pulling so that it is stretching my triceps. All right, you can shake that out. We're just gonna repeat on the left side. So bring your left arm up above your head, fingertips to the ceiling, bend your elbow, left palm to left shoulder, right hand to left elbow, and pull back. Again, we're going to, if you missed those directions the first time, we're going to lift our left arm straight above our head, fingertips toward the ceiling, bend your left elbow so that your left palm touches your left shoulder, right hand comes up to your left shoulder or left elbow, and you're going to pull that back until you feel a nice, a light stretch in your triceps or the back of your upper arm. Okay, we are going to finish with a child's pose stretch. So we are going to sit on our feet. Your feet are going to be, toes are going to be touching where your knees are going to be shoulder, about wider than, wider than shoulder width apart. You can bend forward, put your hands flat on the ground and then walk your hands forward, bringing your forearms to the ground, your forehead to the ground if you'd like. Just taking a few deep breaths here. Then we're gonna walk our hands to the left. So we're gonna pick up our left hand, replace it on the ground to the left, repeat with our right hand, and then repeat that until you feel a good stretch on your right side. We're going to repeat. So we're gonna walk our hands back to the center. Then we're gonna take one stretch here, maybe one or two breaths right in the center. And then we are going to walk our hands to the right. So pick your hand up, move it to the right. Pick the other hand up and move it to the right. Just until you feel a nice long stretch in the left side of your body. Stay here for one more breath and then walk your hands back to center. We'll take one last breath here at center, a big deep breath in. 
and then a deep breath out. And then we're going to walk our hands back toward our body. And then that's it for our workout today. Woo! Nice job, everyone. Yes, thank you all for joining us. And we will see you in our next workout.